Matt, I'm going to send this one over to you. We had Brock Bowers, 13th overall, going to the Las Vegas Raiders. Now, obviously, last year in the top half of the second round, they took Michael Mayer, who a lot of people were really high on. Uh, Blitz Grub winner coming out of college. We have Brock Bowers, same boat, except he's already up to tight end two on keep trade cut something that really wasn't a surprise if it wasn't for the rise of sam reporter last year i think we were anticipating even potentially him coming in as what people would have seen as the tight end one michael mayer down at tight end 19 a guy who keeps falling he was closer to 12 and it's just slid 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 back what are your general thoughts in these two are you worried about bowers with mayor there is mayor dust what, what are your thoughts matt I'm a little bit worried about Bowers, but it's not because of Mayer. I'm worried about Bowers because his quarterback is going to be Aiden O'Connell or Gardner Minshew, which is fine, but it's not great. Um, and he's he's probably going to be a top two target on that team, which is really important. Um, Devontae Adams is going to be is going to suck up a lot of targets. Hopefully, Brock Bowers can just feast as the number two, who who gets a little bit of uh, relief from Devontae Adams taking so much coverage. I don't know that that's going to happen. I think that if you are not comfortable having him at tight end too, I'm with you. Uh, that's a very high price for something that's unseen in a situation that's not ideal. Uh, it really, really sucks for Michael Meyer. Uh, he's ranked as KTC's tight end 19, which is, is fine. It makes sense. You know what it reminded me of? If he were to take his best step forward that he possibly could, in this situation, what we're probably looking at is an Isaiah likely uh, archetype, right? Where, you know, really good when the top five in the NFL tight end in front of him is injured and not on the field. Then maybe Michael Meyer can step up and, and give you week, weeks that you can use. And so I looked up uh, what Isaiah Likely's tight end rank was on KTC. And they're neck and neck. It's uh, Isaiah Likely, tight end 18, and Michael Meyer, uh, tight end 19. That's very fair. Uh, I don't know what you want to do with that, but it's a pretty clear picture. Tim, with using the 13th overall pick on Brock Bowers, a lot of people thought maybe with just his general size, he wasn't your traditional tight end. He is a really, really strong receiver. Do you think that there is a world where Michael Mayer is able to at least offer some type of value to you, even with the addition of Bowers? I'm asking you really if you think Bowers is going to play tight end ahead of Michael Mayer. And I will note, you know, Jacoby Myers is still there. And do you, do you think that's maybe the burying block here for, for Mayer? Well, I think – I don't know for certain at this point because we just don't know what the coaching staff is going to do. But I think that the drafting of Bowers – um, symbolizes or, or makes it significant that they're going to try to run two tight end sets a lot more, which means to me, I feel they're going to run the ball more. So I think that the passing opportunities are going to be limited anyway. So I do think that they will both be on the field playing tight end. I just, I've always been on the side that for me, uh, Mayor always needed to have like Jason Will, Jason Witten esque volume to be useful. So he probably will have some random weeks he pops off with touchdowns, but for me, th there's no value to hold on to him very tough very disappointed to see for anyone who was collecting up some michael mayor before this draft i personally was uh not very happy if you were in the jw discord when that pick was made uh it was rest in peace to a couple shares i have of michael mayor that i picked up uh pretty cheap i will say at least this summer uh, but we're going to push forward into what is really an exciting pick here 